when people come to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and they experience it for the first time, that this place they're walking through and the characters they're seeing and the beasts and aliens and droids puts them in a position where they give themselves over to the moment, to the story, and play with us in the world of Star Wars. It will be jaw-dropping and incredibly emotional to walk into the land for the first time, to actually be standing there amongst the buildings, amongst the ships, and have this feeling that it is all real, that has been brought to life, and it is right there in front of you. It's overwhelming. The experience on Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run puts you straight in that cockpit, right behind the controls, whether you're one of the pilots, the gunners, or flight engineers that are keeping the ship operating. It is gonna be an intense, super fun experience on the fastest ship in the galaxy. I think any great story has tension and conflict, and it's not Star Wars without the war. So it was absolutely fundamental that the story of the land actually finds the guest between the Resistance and the First Order. One of the experiences that I'm sure every visitor to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is gonna love is the most epic attraction we've ever built, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. And this attraction invites you to be a recruit of the Resistance, to stand up against the First Order, and you even come face to face with Kylo Ren. You make it through that, you get back to the planet, you are gonna be a hero of the Resistance and celebrated throughout the land. It's exciting to think about this as only the beginning and to think about how this land will be living and breathing and evolving. There is nothing actually more meaningful and more special than to provide a place for people to experience Star Wars with their family for decades to come.